Hello, and welcome to tonight's Sega Sonic Radio, and uh, I have a special guest tonight. Say hello, hello. to my good friend, uh, Evil Dr. Reef. Hey, Reef, how you doing? Totally jumped the gun on saying hello. I'm That's pretty fine. good. How about you? <laughs> All right, you might have recognized him in chat periodically uh, in various Sega Sonic Radio events. But mm -hmm. uh, he's he's been on uh, other shows like Sonic Talk. Uh, he's been on the sort of I'm going to have say heavy air quotes hiatus. Um, uh, not whole book club, and ah, yes. yeah. Um, you can blame me for that air quotes hiatus. <laughs> uh, and uh, in real life, he is a very good friend of mine. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, in previous times, he used to be on my former podcast, The Spin Dash, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, all mm -hmm. of those things that I said. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we, we, I, I had you on tonight because we were hoping to have you on for, uh, Sonic Talk, and timing-wise, it just didn't work out, but I figure mm -hmm. this is as good an excuse as any to, uh, have you on, talk about the, the, the insane yesterday that yeah. was <laughs> i'm presuming you saw both trailers i did yeah and i mean i i don't know if you want to talk about that now or if you want to wait and, and like have a specific segment where we talk about it but uh i mean i i was pretty excited honestly yeah for the time being i'm gonna welcome fawn elephant and dolius uh to chat appreciate Hello. all our viewers here and uh, I think first what we're going to do is we're going to check out this duo of Sonic Race, was on Sega and Sonic Racing Game tracks. Mm. Uh, up Excellent. on the docket, I've got from Team Sonic Racing, Pinball Highway. And we're going to follow that up with Adder's Lair Medley, uh, just sort of a medley of um, Golden Axe music uh, mm. from Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing Transformed. Or just All-Star, one of those two. They removed Sega from the name from the initial one to the sequel, but we're going to listen to both regardless. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. So I will see you guys on the other side.
And we are back. That was, again, uh, Pinball Highway from Team Sonic Racing and Adder's Lair Medley from Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. I am here tonight on the eve of the Game Awards with uh, Evil Dr. Reef. So uh, let, I, I think we're going to start here with just the uh, movie discussion. So we, I, I, you and I had a... Pre I would say I I was not a huge fan of the uh, first movie. I didn't hate it, but I wasn't a huge yeah. fan. But um, do you happen to remember the method by which we went to go see it? I I mean I know that we went the the uh, together. Basically, it was like the last movie we saw before the pandemic. <laughs> yep, it sure was that. But um, I I was I was kind of had the 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 gut reaction was like. This was going to be a dumb movie, so I wanted us mm. to go see it in the dumbest possible way. So, oh, that's right. We went to what the XD or whatever it's called. I, yeah, I treated you guys to the D box seats, the ones that yeah. sort of vibrate and move slightly yeah. whenever it goes. And like that was that was an entertaining time. But um, mm -hmm. I, what, what, how, where do you kind of stand on the original? I feel like the original is sort of just like fine. I mean, I, I almost feel like it's a movie that is not for me and that's okay but i enjoyed it enough that it was like oh you know what this could have been a lot worse i was expecting it to be substantially worse than what we actually got and so my, <laughs> my expectations were so low that i was actually pleasantly surprised with what ended up coming out so 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 what what stuck out to you from this new trailer I think the thing that uh, really stuck out to me was that they've kind of expanded and, and delved into a lot more of what we see in-game. Like, we see Chaos Emerald, we see what could be some kind of death egg, or at least some kind of egg creation. Uh, it's, it's obviously not a one-for-one -one recreation, but I feel like they're starting to dip their toe into stuff that has been in-games, or at least is sort of an analog to that sort of thing. And I, I was kind of excited by the, the Chaos Emerald reveal. I didn't expect that at all. Like, I I, I think I've heard the, uh, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, and Sonic and Knuckles kind of... Uh, I, th I thought I once heard that referred to as, like, the Death Egg trilogy or the Death Egg saga or something like yeah. that, which, which makes an amount of sense because both of those are sort of wrapped around the concept of... Eggman building the massive outer space <laughs> space station laser. Definitely yeah. not a ripoff of Star Wars. Uh, thing. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, it, it kind of it definitely touches on the various aspects of that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's. I'm I'm curious how far they go with it. Yeah, and honestly, it, it looked good. And I mean, I I say that with sort of the. What would you say? Like the, the the respect of it's probably not going to be like you know an Emmy or Oscar winning award movie, but it's going to be something that I go and see, and I don't feel like I've wasted money, and that's good. <laughs> so. Like of of a popcorn movie, it looks like uh, on the positive end of popcorn movies in such a way yeah. that maybe maybe the first one didn't hit that threshold for us. Yeah. And actually, I mean, with the first one, I ended up seeing it a second time because um, there was a drive-in movie theater and it was like uh, mid-April or something like that. And it was like the height of the pandemic and there was drive-in theaters. They all started popping back up and opening back up. And that was the only, it was that and Trolls 2. And I was like, I'm starved for anything to do. So let's get to the drive-in <laughs> and see Sonic and Trolls 2. And I liked Sonic better than Trolls 2, I'll say that much. Well, Trolls, Trolls 2 didn't get any, or Trolls 2 got Lego sets, so that's got to amount for something. Mm, it's fair. It's fair. It had the McElroys in it. <laughs> it did. What, 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 who did they play? They, I, they I presumably had, like, Trolls. Yeah, <laughs> they were they were no one. They had like one line apiece. They were background. One of them was oh. a tumbleweed. I, I, I was hoping there would be like uh, two Trolls that had a podcast. That would have been the smart play. I don't know why they didn't do that. <laughs> Uh, speaking of smart plays, uh, next set of songs, I, I, I kind of set this next group of songs. It's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit longer than I usually go. It's gonna be four songs in a row, but, um, I tried to think of, okay, of the things we saw in the movie, like, the set pieces we saw was, like, the beginning, Sonic is attempting to 
play the superhero and be basically chasing police cars in the city. Uh, There was the scene of him meeting Tails on the biplane and them going on there. Uh, There was the snowboarding scene, and there was sort of the weird fight in a set of ruins. So I put together a brief piece. Most of it is Sonic Adventure music, so it's just kind of how that worked out. But I kind of picked a a little selection here to reflect the different parts of the trailer that were shown. So we're going to kick things off with the Sonic Generations Act 1 version of Speed Highway. So like the the classic Sonic version. Uh, Shift over to Sky Chase Zone from Sonic 2. Uh, Be Cool, Be Wild, and Be Groovy, the theme of Ice Cap from Sonic Adventure. Oh, okay. And Tricky Maze, the theme of Lost World from Sonic Adventure. Nice. And with that, I will see you guys on the other side.
And we are back. So I that was. Say, hmm? I gotta say that I, I think you should just have a whole bunch of different. And I know you said this in chat, but that that <laughs> gif of of Shadow playing the violin is just so good. Oh, it is real good. Like that's uh, I can I can pinpoint exactly where that comes from too because I had to find <laughs> it myself. Uh, oh, it was uh, it's from the saw if you remember sonic and the secret rings uh oh yeah first wii game it had the multiplayer of that was just a big huge mini game collection uh Mm. mario party-esque and Mm -hmm. one of the mini games is that you had to swing the wii remote in time with uh expected like violent it'll tell you like hey do it this up down up down up down up down and then you had to imitate it so like every character that's available in multiplayer did that and i thought eh, it'd be funny if <laughs> it'd be funny if shadow was the gift yeah. that i had to represent that but yeah it's it's nice i like it uh but yeah that was a, that was like a little collection i put together just to sort of you know atmospherize the uh thematic elements of the the sonic 2 trailer <laughs> Speed Highway Act 1 from Sonic Generations, Sky's Chase Zone from Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Be Cool, Be Wild, Be Groovy from Sonic Adventure, and Tricky Maze, also from Sonic Adventure. Uh, so I, I, I asked you if you had any like requests or suggestions to uh, yes. sort of just just sort of... Um, Give me a sense of what what you're looking for tonight in a playlist, because I, I try to, whenever I have a guest, as infrequent as that tends to be, I try to fulfill that as best I can. And uh, y- you kind of emphasized, hey, I like some Genesis stuff. I like some Genesis remixes. That's the stuff I'm looking for. That's the stuff I'm into. And uh, I p- I picked a few. Um, I if, to to start off with the couple tonight. And I, I went in a couple of different thematic directions. Uh, next segment, I picked out two Sonic CD tracks. I I know you do enjoy your Sonic CD. Oh, I do. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I went with Stardust Speedway uh, B-Mix. Bad oh, feature. Nice. From the US version of Sonic CD. Hmm. And uh, following that up with Wacky Workbench P-Mix, the, the past mix from Sonic CD, technically both versions. Ah. It's, it's funny because um, despite the fact that they have unique soundtracks, they do share uh, the past mixes between the two regions. So, uh, And with that, uh, let's take a listen to the tracks and I'll see you guys on the other side.
And that was Stardust Speedway Bead Mix from Sonic CD US and Wacky Workbench P Mix from either version of Sonic CD. Uh, One of those uh, strange people who likes both soundtracks. I like so. that. Yeah, well, it, I don't think it's that people. I think what it's come to kind of come down to is it's not that people like or dislike one soundtrack specifically. I think it kind of mm. comes down to like, which one do you like more? And oh yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah, it's it's. I don't know. I might have. I, on aggregate, I would I would struggle to really tell you, but I think there are certain levels that I definitely feel stronger about one over the other. But I, I don't know what I would tell you, like <laughs> on the whole, how it would work out. Um, but I picked out some interesting ones, and ho hopefully you guys found them interesting too. Uh, a little bit of a shout out to Werewolf Wolfie who just joined us for the first time. And, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm re reaching the realization that uh, I didn't completely fix all the CSS I need to fix. So, <laughs> uh, if you're looking online, I apologize because what you're looking at is a very, a very light gray with white text on top. And it's not exactly easy to read, but I'll, I'll, I'll work <laughs> on it. I will work on it. Uh, yeah. So... You, 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 like I said, you gave me a couple, you gave me sort of like a broad sense of the stuff that you're looking for tonight, and, uh, I tried to find some good stuff to fit that, and one of the, one of the points of comparison you made was like, hey, Sonic Generations, uh, yeah, like, yeah. the classic Sonic stuff, and I went halfway with that, uh, <laughs> one, one of the, uh, direct references you made was like you know i like i like sky sanctuary from sonic generations mm -hmm. and uh I, I i picked that track out specifically but um i also mm -hmm. looked through the 3ds soundtrack and uh picked one that i'm kind of into uh because i love the sonic rush soundtrack but um in this next segment, uh, I've got Sonic Generations 3DS, uh, Water Palace Act 2. A bit of a remix Ooh. of uh, Water Palace, but for, I guess, modern-ish. So I can't remember if Act 2 here is modern-ish or classic-ish, but mm. it's one of those two. I want to say modern, <laughs> probably. And then mm. uh, Sky Sanctuary Act 2, both of them from nice. uh, various versions of Sonic Generations. Cool. And when we come back, uh, we'll chat a little bit about the upcoming Sonic Frontiers trailer. Sound Sounds good? good. Mm -hmm. We'll see you guys on the other side.
And we are back. Once again, that was Water Palace Act 2 and Sky Sanctuary Act 2 uh, from Sonic Generations 3DS and HD versions, respectfully. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, that, that Sky, uh, Sky Sanctuary Zone remix was always one of my absolute favorite tracks from Generations, and I kind of feel like that was the the track that stuck with me. Like, this, the first time I played it, I was like, oh, this is a very good rendition it's it's a really iconic location of a really iconic uh moment in sonic and knuckles yeah yeah and i just i don't know i i I really i was going through trying to figure out what my playlist was going to be tonight and i was looking through the sonic generations 3ds and uh i like i don't remember every sonic song uh a lot of it a lot of the times whenever i put together a playlist for the evening it comes down to me thinking of the games that i want to represent or the themes that i'm going for and um i i hit up uh sonic generations 3ds and it was like oh this this is the song i've got to play this is the one i need to play because this is like borderline this this is close to surf rock and yeah and if you want to make me happy just find me some surf rock <laughs> So uh, we had a we had a preview of the of I guess we'll say next year's major 3D Sonic game, which which is something that I can say in that <laughs> ignoring the fact that we hadn't had a major 3D Sonic game in several years at this point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know people people are down on a Sonic team making another Sonic game because, well, you remember how Sonic Forces was. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, Sonic Forces was in 2017. Uh, Wow. By the time this comes out, it'll be, what, like five years uh, since Sonic Forces. So (laughs) they've... Obviously, the pandemic, that's that's all we... Everything... Any game that is coming out between now and 2023 is always going to have the caveat of pandemic, pandemic, pandemic. Uh, right. it's just, it just has that kind of reach. But um, it, 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 they've certainly spent a significant amount of time on this game. And that, that's not saying, hey, it will turn out good or, hey, it'll turn out bad. But, like, it it kind of shows that, hey, they are making something here. They, have, they are yeah. taking it in a very different direction than most previous Sonic games. And I and I kind of wonder like what 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 spoke to you from that trailer, the Sonic Frontiers trailer. I I think the the thing that immediately stood out to me was the end where some kind of like I don't know Shadow of the Colossus or like mobile suit <laughs> something comes down and like stomps on the ground and I'm like what is gonna happen in this game that that like I mean obviously he's fought you know. Eggman, like Gundams before, but I don't know. There was the 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 aesthetic of the entire game feels different than that. Like Turns- usually when he fights the egg bot, it's always like colorful and bright and a little bit zany. And this was kind of more grounded, I guess I could I, w- I would say. Take it turns out Sonic takes actually takes place in the same universe as uh, Evangelion. Ah, that explains everything. <laughs> Actually, I was uh, I was joking uh, with my wife. I was saying like, "Oh, maybe this is set in the same universe as Kirby Forgotten Lands." Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, like I, I mentioned this in uh, Sonic Talk earlier, but like you can't you can't not draw some amount of comparison to Breath of the Wild because it's it's it looks in a lot of ways, and in a lot of ways they're they're panning across and showing Sonic in comparison to the world really trying to invoke the breath of the wild sort of yeah i I, i'm I'm saying breath of the wild but breath of the wild is using the same tricks as any open world game trying to present itself as open world which is to say have a character standing across a big open space that is just dotted with various mysterious points of interest yeah yeah which and I mean, I don't know if that's what they're going for when it actually comes down to gameplay, because I don't know how well that would work with Sonic, but it could, and the aesthetics are certainly compelling regardless. 
Yeah, it 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 kind of comes. To, that's kind of the the double edged sword here. Is like this is the the what they presented at the game awards had one singular message, and that message was, "We are making an open world Sonic game." This this is not necessarily what an open world Sonic game looks like, but these are the things that you show whenever you want to display an open world game. Yeah. I, I'm interested because with Sonic being very fast, the world is either going to have to be very, very big, or there's going to have to be a reason why you can't just you know run across the map in 45 seconds. So I'm kind of interested in what they're going to do with that because... I mean, when you when you play Breath of the Wild or you play an Assassin's Creed game, there's, of course, at the start, you just have to walk or maybe ride a horse everywhere. And then eventually you can unlock fast travel and stuff like that. But Sonic is, is his own fast travel. So, I've, I've seen that joke on Twitter. <laughs> All right. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's it's it, it's a real big question of like, what direction do they design what direction or what method do they attempt to design it around do they just have do they just give you a lot of let's say uh, okay so so when you think when you think of open world games a lot of it a lot of it is built around some sort of mission system or progression system or unlock system mm -hmm. breath of the wild doesn't really have that in the same way it it does in some very limited locations but a lot of it comes down to here is a bunch of thing. There are a bunch of things in this world. You have broad things that you know you need to accomplish, but we're not going to twist your arm to get them done. Yeah. Uh, just go out and do it. But compared to something like a, I, I don't know, like the be the best point of comparison I could guess I could make is like a GTA. GTA is built around mm. a mission structure, and the mission yeah. structure is what builds into progression in a story and progression as a character. Or even like a even like a yakuza, if you want to go to more uh, mm. Sega mm -hmm. comparison. Um, what what sort of structure do they want to show with this? And it's not something that was really reflected in the trailer. So yeah, I, I feel like the the thing that was clearest was just sort of the aesthetic of that world, and that I, I that that was the thing that interested me most. Because I mean, open world or not, I, I sort of just really liked the sort of ruins and, 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 and structures and all these things that he was running past. And I was like, these look really good. And honestly, the the trailer is, I, I imagine that was probably a pre-render, but just like, if if the game has that same aesthetic to it, whether or not it looks as crisp and clean, I mean, I just like that kind of thing. The ruins and, and, and uh, like, st stones and, and cobble and all that. It's I, I like that thing. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I, it didn't, immediately enamor me uh if only because it is it is sort of an aesthetic i'm used to from i, I guess like 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 jrpgs and breath of the wild and the xenoblade yeah. games like it, it's not mm -hmm. something that's far removed from that but i don't i don't yeah. dislike it i just kind right. of i would like to see like how does sonic interact with these spaces because breath of the wild and to a somewhat lesser extent, Xenoblade uh, have interesting ways that you can interact. Uh, it rewards you for finding places. It, yeah, yeah. It, it kind of uses gameplay mechanics to drive you towards these are the places that are okay to go. These are the places that will give you a lot of hassle. I, I think the reason that it stuck out to me is just because it's not the sort of thing that you typically... I mean... I mean, it kind of is something that we've seen in Sonic repeatedly, but I don't know. It was just the way it was presented seemed unique. Because, I mean, we've seen lots of ruins. I mean, obviously, like, Marble Zone is, is basically that. But I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued by... And also just the giant robot at the end, or whatever that was, because you know me and my giant robots. Sure. Actually, um, I know you you haven't necessarily kept up with the most current games. Mm -hmm. Uh, but one of the things I do know you rather like is following the comic books. Yes, yes. So, with with kind of the announcement that Ian Flynn will be writing this game, uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm assuming you're pretty positive on that? 
Well, I, I caught sort of the tail end of, of Sonic talk earlier, and I, I know that you were talking a little bit about, is he writing the game, or is he just sort of heading the translation team? And so, Yeah, that, that was kind of always the, the weird yeah. divergence whenever we talk about um, uh, the previous Sonic writers, is that there were certain games that they wrote, specifically Sonic Lost World, where they actually sort of drove the dialogue of it, but most of the time... They were just writing the uh, the translation for it. Yeah, and I think though that in a way that's it's good that he would be on the translation team, even if that's all he's doing. Because I mean, maybe it's just because I, I did a lot of research into Earthbound because I really like Earthbound. But having a really good translation team can make or break a game, and and Earthbound is a game that it really made have it because like they could have easily translated it like. Uh, like a lot of the other contemporary JRPGs at the time, and it would have been a pretty forgettable game, but because they gave it that heart, the translation team really strove to make the writing in English good and and, and translated a lot of the jokes in such a way that they really would land. Uh, Earthbound became not only a cult classic, but now people are looking back on it and saying, this is a really good game. And so Ian Flynn, being that I like his writing, even if he's just doing the translation, I'm like, that's that's not a bad thing. I'm I'm pretty excited to see what he does with that. Indeed, I mean, I'm, let's let's be real here. You and I, you and I, uh, met on the context of being fans of anime, and we both yeah. have a firm <laughs> understanding that, like, yeah, if, if you're watching a dub or even even subtitles, like a good yeah. translation can make or break your experience with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, speaking of a good translation, I have our remix for the week. Ooh. And, uh, this time I went with another, another OC remix. Again, most of the time it will be an OC remix, <laughs> just because that's what's kind of available to just play on a radio show like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I went with a track called Down to the Hydrocities Nightclub. Ooh. As you might guess, it's a remix of Hydrocity Zone, Acts 1 and 2, uh, remixed by Dr. Manhattan. You can check this and many other remixes over at overclockedremix. or I'm sorry, ocremix.org. Uh, name will come up in the metadata on the video. So uh, you can head out there and uh, let's enjoy Down to the Hydrocity Nightclub and uh, see you guys on the other side.
And we are back. Oh. I, 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 I was happy to find that tonight. I was trying to figure out, like, what would be good, um... What would have been a good remix? I was, I, won't, it, I was really close to just picking a Sky Sanctuary remix, but there's <laughs> surprisingly few of them. I've noticed that, yeah. There, but there's... I... Sorry, I was gonna say I just I really liked that. That was and Hydrosity Zone has a pretty good theme in the first place, so that was a, a top tier remix. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, I not many Sky Sanctuaries, but hey, <laughs> if you want if you want an Ice Cap Zone remix, you know what? OC Remix has you covered. Yeah, <laughs> there's like there's like twenty of them. It's an obscene number. <laughs> when I was wow. when I was tagging my metadata, it was like, "Well, this is a nice cap. Well, this is a nice cap. Well, this is a nice." Yeah, just. I mean, ice cap's a good song. It's a real good song. I just there's a lot of remixes. Of, there a a lot of remixes of ice cap, and then a lot of remixes of like chemical plant, which. Again, they're good songs. There's reasons why yeah. there's so many remixes of them, but uh, it's just, it's funny. It's mm -hmm. funny that there also are. So yeah, that was uh, Down to Hydrocity's Nightclub, uh, by doc remixed by Dr. Manhattan. You can grab that over at ocremix.org, as well as many other remixes. Mm -hmm. uh, next segment, I kind of put together... Again, just going by the theme of the, the whole Sonic mu movie thing. I The other thing I thought would be a good thing to have is just, what if I got a whole bunch of Knuckles-centric music? Oh, yeah. We and didn't even talk about Knuckles in that trailer. <laughs> we did not even talk about Knuckles in that trailer. And um, I kind of I kind of want to know, like, I, I am if firmly in camp i like the idris elba voice for knuckles despite like not hearing it very much but yeah. the line that was delivered i i i liked it um mm -hmm. i know that it might be controversial because i know some people just felt like it did not fit but and i'm not saying <laughs> it fit perfectly i'm saying that i liked it yeah i mean that's how i am too it's like it, does it sound good does it sound believable coming out of this red guy's mouth? Then I'm sold. <laughs> it it makes sense where they're trying to position Knuckles in that movie in that he yeah. is it, like like the Japanese version of of the title is they just call it Sonic versus Knuckles. Oh, okay. And it's worth noting that in the games there aren't they the games don't really pit Sonic against Knuckles very often, mm -mm. and it's kind of odd since like as the as the comics kind of described him a while throughout his uh, miniseries, he is Sonic's friendly nemesis. Like he is right. the, he is the character whom sort of has the begrudging friendship of Sonic, but also does not necessarily trust Sonic continuously. Mm -hmm. So the idea of like, hey, this is Knuckles as imposing figure, that sort of deep voice that um, Idris Elba is able to give him makes sense. Like they, Like the picture that's been going around on the internet is Knuckles just completely palming... Sonic coming at him at full force and just yeah. stopping it dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm really interested in seeing sort of what 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 Knuckles' deal is because obviously in in the games way back when uh, Robotnik sort of lied to him and was like, "Haha, it's, 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 Sonic's the one who stole your master emerald or what have you," and is that the same line he's going to feed him here? Is it something else? Is there a reason in the first movie that uh, like echidnas were coming after Sonic and, and the owl whose name I'm blanking on? Mm -hmm. There yeah. are questions. There, there are a lot. It, it, there. They certainly set some stuff up in the first movie, and we're all yeah. we're all obviously hoping that they kind of deliver on some of the mysteries. Mm -hmm. It's like, well. Here's these characters, they weren't necessarily important the first time, but there's a possibility they could become important if we have a sense of where we want to go with this. 
Mm-hmm. So for for this like uh, slightly more extended this this time it's five songs, but you know some of them are very short. Uh, I went with the tried and true Sonic th- Knuckles theme from Sonic and Knuckles. That sort of iconic. Uh, couple of bars that that yeah. are very short but you know very memorable and attributable to knuckles as a character I'll, always uh between those stages whenever you encounter him that uh theme song comes up and then he presses the button and then yeah. suddenly all this wind rushes in uh mushroom hill and blows you up to the top stage yeah uh following that up with meeting knuckles in sonic triple trouble oh uh, then I went with Knuckles Chaotix This Horizon, the, the, sort of, like, the title screen theme. Uh, wanted to get some Sonic Adventure 2 in there, so I got Space Trip Steps, Space Trip Steps, which is probably my favorite of the Knuckles tracks in Sonic Adventure 2. And then one more before we head back, and it is Wild Style Pistolero. The theme of Mirage Saloon Act 1, uh, more specifically, when only when you play as Knuckles. Oh, cool. And I kind of want to go with that because, hey, this Sunday, I'll be returning to my Knuckles playthrough of Sonic Mania. Oh, yeah. So, with those set up, I'll see you guys on the other side. <laughs>
in a criminal crop don't pay. Seen the crisis of Eggman's baby. Don't get much more. It took me a while to reset there. Hey, we're back. Hello. Hello. Who are you again? I don't know. Some guy. Who am picked I? Picked me up on the sidewalk on the internet. I I, I am some sort of uh, red anthropomorphized echidna. At least oh, I'm good. pretty sure I am at this point. So, uh, yeah, uh, that, that was our little, uh, Knuckles, kn run of Knuckles music. Uh, we had Knuckles themed from Sonic and Knuckles, kn meet Knuckles from Triple Trouble. This Horizon from Knuckles Chaotix, Space Strip Seps from Sonic Adventure 2, and Wild Style Pistolero from Sonic Mania. Uh, we're, we're kind of reaching the end here. Uh, had some songs, but, you know, you know, we can only have this, uh, have this series go on so long in the night, and we had a fair bit of discussion of, uh, it's a fair bit of discussion of the two trailers tonight, and I, I think that's appropriate given the context. Yeah, I, I would say so. A lot of, a lot of interesting stuff came out yesterday. So, I have a vocal track to end on tonight, and I want to see if you could guess what vocal track I would choose for your sake to end on. Pumpkin Hill Zone. Not quite. <laughs> we played that at Halloween. That's, that's right. That did happen. No. I, I went with Sonic Boom from Sonic CD. Oh, cool. That, it, is a, that is a bop, as the kids say. 
it it seemed like the uh the most appropriate thing to end on tonight i mean we started off with the uh, lookalike from th the full version of lookalike from you know sonic the movie so yeah yeah i i think it, i think it's a good song to end on i know it's a song that you personally enjoy and hey i think it's solid uh reef is there is there anything that you want to plug before we uh wrap up for the evening uh not that i can think of offhand i've had a really good time being here thank you so much no i'm, I'm glad to have you know i'm always glad to have you on stuff cool i've and then, made my mark maybe at some point i'll have you on my uh battle and wonder world series <laughs> oh no <laughs> well it would be fun it's that game sure is um something that came out it sure did and square enix charged 60 dollars for it <laughs> <laughs> that's right yeah uh, uh, but but yeah uh, glad to have you on glad to uh yeah and, and um i have some stuff to plug uh if you take a look up at the top of the screen head over on over to sonicstadium.org for all of the recent sonic coverage we are even more stuff is still coming out about the movie and the game and as it comes out we will make sure to uh let you know hey what's up uh, you can also head over to Sonic St at Sonic Stadium on Twitter to get up-to-date updates. That's a bad phrasing, but sure. Uh, just let you know when we release articles and when we go live on Twitch. And, of course, we have a Discord. It, the link is involved, but it's up in the corner there. You, you, can, you can pause if you need to to go type it in. Uh, but it's what we got. Or just go to SonicStadium.org. There's a Discord widget. It says join, and you can jump in. It's great. It's good fun. Uh, next next show coming up is almost every Sonic on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Adjust for your local time. Uh, we will be continuing Sonic Mania, my uh, Knuckles playthrough of that game, and we are going to follow that up with another almost every Sonic on Tuesdays. Our new Tuesday time slot for it continuing uh the sonic at the olympic games tokyo 2020 mobile game and yeah uh, yeah it's you know it's solid it's not perfect uh but yeah. has some interesting design choices in it and it it feels much more like a game than i was expecting it to be it like yeah mm -hmm. i was gonna say it looks pretty fun actually like it's it's certainly more in depth than i was expecting yeah, like, the the diving alone is like, well, here's a bunch of actually designed stages that you need to operate in. But, uh, mm -hmm. hey, if you're, if, if you or anyone else is interested in it, go get it as soon as possible because they are closing the service for it. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's on sale. I think you can unlock the full game for, like, a dollar and... Once it goes into offline, you can still play all the events, and my understanding is you can still play the entire story mode if you are oh, cool. if you are interested. So if if that's something you want to do, do it sooner rather than later. <laughs> and and with that, yeah, here is Sonic Boom from uh, Sonic CD, the US version. And <coughs> pardon me. And there is a cough and. Uh, <laughs> Until next time, we are bo we are up, over, and gone. Peace out. Hello, everyone.
short but sweet. Thanks again, Reef. Oh, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. Thanks for having me. And have a good night. All right, Everyone you too. on Twitch. <laughs>